Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought we would do a like get ready with me and do kind of more like a summer glowy, not too complicated look. Um, and our main focus today is actually going to be the Maru Maru Baby Butter Box, which in the box you do get a mini size of the bronzer, the blush, highlighter, and then you also get a eyeshadow duo a lippy and then the perfume so if you want to get ready together as well as hear my thoughts on the butter box keep on watching so first we're going to prime our face so to prime my face i'm just going to use the elf luminous matte makeup primer and it's like really 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 moisturizing so i know the name can be a little tricky because it says luminous and then it says matte in the same title so what I'm thinking is it's supposed to like maybe matte out and help your normal oilness, but also like give you a little bit of a glow. So for foundation, we're going to use the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation. It's their foundation plus hydrating serum. And this one is in the shade 60 Sandy Beige. I kind of just use like three pumps of this and I'm just going to just dab it. All right, so to blend in my foundation, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Beauty Sponge. If you guys have not tried this sponge yet, you guys need to try it. Like, seriously, it's like, I don't even know how much the sponge is. It's not that much. I know that. But it's so affordable. It's like super cheap. And you can get it at Walmart, which is where I've been buying mine. When I bought my last one, I got it at Walmart and... It was like the only one left and I quick grabbed it because I heard really good things about it and I really wanted to get it and it's from Wet n Wild so like why would I not want to try it and then I just went to Walmart recently and they were stocked up pretty well with these sponges so I grabbed another one so now I have two and if you love a nice soft bouncy sponge then you're gonna love this sponge if you like foundation that is your skin but better, seriously try this foundation. I love it. So for concealer, I'm just going to go in with the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Concealer. And this is what it looks like. This one is in the shade Light Medium. And then you do have your little bit of moisturizer in the middle of the concealer. If you have really dry eyes, this concealer is really moisturizing under the skin. It is not a whole lot of coverage, like it's not super full coverage. So if you suffer from like extreme dark circles, you might not like this concealer. But if your dark circles aren't really that bad and you know, there's not really too much to cover, you just want, you know, a concealer and something that may be a little bit more hydrating. Um, if you have like a lot of creases or something, um, it's a nice concealer. And again, like, the concealer I'm using, the foundation I'm using, is just for a very light, breathable skin, summer, glowy feel, you know? Nothing that feels too heavy and cakey, because in the summertime, it's the worst feeling. For powder, I'm just going to use the L'Oreal Hydra Perfect, Perfect, Perfecti, I don't know. Um, that's what it is. The powder, this one isn't just translucent, because sometimes powders that have color just, just don't work out for me so I'm just gonna use a I think this is from Equit I'm not sure but this is just a powder brush and I mainly am gonna set around my nose where I kind of get oily around my nose area and my head forehead, chin area, and then I'm also going to set around my smile lines, and then whatever's left on my brush, I'm kind of just going to dust it all over my face. I'm just going to use a tapered brush from e.l.f. and just kind of just go right underneath my eyes.
like that. And before I move on to anything else, I'm just going to moisturize my lips. So I'm just using the Catrice Lip Treatment. And I just put a little bit on. So the last time I was at Ulta, I did pick up the Brow Last um, Longwear Brow Gel from them, from Positions Formula. If you saw me use this in my video, like in my Ulta haul video, I was a little scared to use this product, but it's not the worst thing in the world, actually. So I'm just going to basically paint on my eyebrows. So, my brows are on, and before, and I'm just going to set my face with the Flower Seal the Deal Hydrating Setting Spray. Alright, so next we are going to jump into this box. Now, this box, I think, was like $14.99 14 or $14.88, something like that. So basically $15. And I did get this box at my local Walmart. Um, I was at Walmart about a week ago and I did see a whole bunch of these still there. So if you can get it at your local Walmart, awesome. If not, I would definitely check online because they know for sure they still have them online. And I think this little box is super cute because for someone who hasn't tried Physicians Formula yet um, and you, you don't know if you like it or you might not like it. So it's like a little trial kit. Um, everything is really small so if there's something in here you don't like you don't have a huge container of product that you're just not going to use so here is the bronzer and the bronzer is in the shade bronzer so there's that and it's so little and so cute and it does have like a little sheen to it and it feels super buttery just actually going to just use a bronzer brush and dab into there the only thing I don't like about butter bronzers because I do have a bigger size one is how like um how much kickback you get in the pan like it just gets super messy super quick I feel like there's bronzer like everywhere So the bronzer, of course, is going on super buttery, super flawless, and it's showing up on my skin. I feel like the other shade I got, I don't think, I think that one, sh that might be a shade light for me because this shade, mine's not in the shade bronzer, I know that, and it barely shows up on my skin. Um, and it's just springtime, like I don't even have my summer tan yet, so... This one shows up a lot more on me. And I'm just taking this down my neck. Just so that way it kind of blends in. Whatever's left, I'll just put on my chest. And then I'm just going to take a little bit on the edges of my nose, across my nose. Just like that. These are super cute for travel too, so that way you don't have everything in big size. You can just have these little tiny mini things and throw them in a little makeup bag. And then you have it for a little weekend getaway. Super cute. So next is the blush. So we're gonna get a little glow on with our blush. This also looks like it has a little sheen to it. And the blush is in the shade Natural Glow. And this is what the blush looks like. And it's gonna a really cute like coral summer shade so I'm just gonna use a uh, Nikkei um, blush brush we are going to dab in here and we do get some pigment 
glow. So if you want a glow, this blush is going to give you that glow. So I already kind of put it on my cheeks, but like I have a lot of huge pores on my cheeks. So I'm going to kind of keep this more towards the back. I'm just going to pat it so it kind of blends in with everything, but I'm going to kind of keep this more towards the back. It's a beautiful color. And it goes on the skin like a natural coral gold sheen type of color. So it's like not just pure coral. There's definitely some gold sheen in there, but it's really, really glowy as you can see. So like it's going to make your cheek light up like a disco ball. So if you're looking for that natural glow, there it is. And it's just like the bronzer. It's like buttery feeling. Okay, so for highlighter, I'm just going to pop the highlighter out. And this is in Pearl. And I'm hoping that it doesn't come off like stark white because if that's the case, it's only going to work for really fair skin tones. But like if it comes off like translucent, translucent and kind of just like glowy, then that will work. If not, I'll just make it work. Like I'll just use it as like maybe like an eyeshadow highlight instead. This is the highlighter super buttery and that's what it looks like on the finger so let's see what it looks like on my skin i'm just going to use a luxie small contouring brush to use for highlight because i just prefer to use this more for highlight than contouring but i'm just going to dab in here and okay so it's glowy, but it does have a white sheen. Like it, it looks white on my skin. So I will not be using this as a highlighter in the future. I'm just gonna use it now. But it would be, it would. I think, I think I still pull it off like as an inner corner highlight. And it's a it's super small, so I'm not wasting it or anything. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna use it in my inner corner as a brow bone and inner corner highlight. It's a pretty highlighter, like it's glowy. You can see like right here, but in person, like it just looks like it has like a white cast going across my cheek, and my skin tone is just not. A match before I move on to eyes and lips or anything I'm just gonna quickly spray my face one more time not like I need to be dewy but spray my face one more time so there's three more products left in the box you have your eyeshadow perfume and lippy so we're just gonna go right in to the eyeshadow and this is really really cute because like when you are on the go or you just want a quick makeup routine and you just want to quick add some products like I love these little eyeshadow duos because when you have a huge palette in front of you, even though you might only want to go in for one or two shades, you get so inspired and then you're sitting there wasting 30 minutes on an eye look when you were only supposed to waste a minute. So for this, you quick grab this, do a little crease, do a little lip color and boom, out the door you go. So I'm just going to quickly grab a crease brush. This is a Morphe, there's no numbers or anything on here, but this is just a Morphe, um, smaller crease brush and i'm just going to go right into this shade over here now this shade looks a little light it's almost like a cream yeah this is like a cream color like it has a little bit of a tan tint to it but it's it's like a cream like a cream color so maybe something to set like your whole lid with so I already did that to one eye, so I'm just going to do it to the other so it matches. But for a crease shade, I'm just going to go into the bronzer. And while I have this open, I'm just going to go in with my... Um, contouring brush I think this is yes this is a elf contour brush and I'm just going to dab into that same bronzer 
Um, just use that underneath my eye. We're going to go back into the eyeshadow duo and I'm just going to go in with a flat brush and dip into that gold and then see if the brush picks up anything. So that's what it looks like. Ooh, that's pretty. And you could even use your finger too. If you were like in a major rush. So this eyeshadow does have a little bit of fallout, which since it's a little shimmery, it can leave like a little shimmer sheen behind it. So that's what it looks like and super bronzy. But that's what the two shades look like. That's what that looks like. See it? I'm not really a huge fan on putting highlight on my brow bone as much as my inner corner so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the number 10 BH cosmetics brush and I'm gonna dab into this cream shade and I'm just gonna use that as my brow bone highlight because that's what it's good for for me if you're more fair you might be able to use this as a Appreciate, but for me, no. All right, and then for my inner corner highlight, I'm just gonna use that white highlighter. I'm gonna use that same brush, and I'm just gonna pop that in the inner corner. You can see the like the white in it. That's why I can't wear it. On my actual cheeks but if you blend like the more you blend it you can kind of get rid of the white cast but it's kind of still there like on my inner corner looks a little more harsh than on my cheek because I'm not really blending it out that good because I want it to pop I'm going to I'm gonna do some mascara so I'm gonna add some mascara to my lower lashes and then I can add a lippy and then go back to the mascara for my top lashes. So for mascara, I'm going to use the Killer Curves Mascara from Physicians Formula. So this is also from them. That's what the wand looks like. And this mascara is, it's a, it's, I like it. It's not super, it does give me length. Um, and I would say it probably, it, it holds a curl pretty good. But it doesn't add too much volume. So I have the lower lashes on and I do have to be careful with this mascara because if I let my lower lashes touch my actual skin this mascara does easily transfer like easily so for my lippy I'm just gonna use or try the lip product let me just quickly put on my top lashes as well put on my lip mascara my top lashes okay so I have my mascara on so I'm just gonna zoom you back out and we can finish this makeup this is their butter lip cream and this is in do know how to don't know how to pronounce that so i'm just going to put it down below so that way you can see and it looks like it's going to be like a coral shade but it also kind of looks like it's going to be shiny so let's just let's just just let's just put it on like Hmm. It smells like a like a I don't know how to describe it. Like it smells like a like an orange fruit, but not orange. Like I don't know, grapefruit maybe. I don't know. It's in the citrus family, but it's very very creamy. It's just like a very moisturizing lip balm like a tinted lip balm so 
very creamy very moisturizing i thought it was gonna be like a metallic lipstick or something but no and that's everything for the makeup i mean this is the perfume and everyone was obsessed when they came out with the perfume that supposed to smell like the butter bronzer so let's see how this Ooh. Mm. I feel like if you have allergies, like really bad allergies, you're gonna like be sneezing up a storm. But it smells really, really good. Just make sure you take your, your allergy pill. I basically liked everything. The bronzer was good, same formula, and went on just like any other bronzer they have. Um, the blush is very pretty, very nice. Um, I just wish that the color that it shows in the package was more of the color that shows on your actual skin tone, like on your skin. Um, I feel just like a little bit of the coral is peeping through, but it's mostly like a gold just sheen on my face. So if you have pores or you have problematic skin, you might not be a huge fan of this. Um, the next time I use this, I just know to keep it more back more. Um, and maybe as like a... Maybe as a blush topper instead of like my main blush because it is just very glowy but the name of it is called natural glow so um i just wish that the the blush wasn't so glowy but because it's kind of going on your apples of your cheeks where your pores are but it is a very pretty blush um highlighter i wish they would have put more of like a universal shade um you know nothing too goldy or nothing too deep but nothing too light either kind of like something in the middle that kind of just like a color that just works for everyone like maybe a very light champagne color so you know it could be i don't know um just something that could work for a bigger selection of people um just because like if this was like i don't care if it would have been white in the pan but like when you put it on it was just more like a glow instead of like just putting off the color but the color does show up on your skin. So if you've got a little bit of a tan or your deeper complexion, um, this is not going to work for you. But like I said, you can maybe use it as like a white eyeshadow or something, but it's a pretty, a pretty highlighter. Just wish they would have chose more of a universal shade. The eyeshadow duo, again, the bronzer, sh the bronzing shade was, is very, very pretty. Um, but this shade here, like I feel like this is, should be a crease shade um and it's kind of more like an all over the lid shade it's like a cream shade so i wish that they would have put a little bit of a deeper color in here because i feel like even if you're fair this isn't going to show up as a cream like a crease shade so i feel like they would i feel like they should have just kind of put more of like a bronzy like a not a bronzy but like more of a more of a bronzer shade in here but not bronzing like nothing sheeny or anything the lippy was buttery and creamy and nice. I feel like it's very hydrating on the lips. So if you want something to kind of just keep in your purse and just apply throughout the day, this is kind of, this is really nice to have. The perfume is also really nice. I was really excited to actually try the perfume and it smells really, really good. It's very summery. Um, similar to the bronzer, a little bit different though. Don't know how long it's gonna last on the skin or probably on your clothes will last longer. All right, guys, so this is the final look. It's nothing too complicated. Just a very bronzy, glowy, summery look. One of many that I'll be doing on my channel. I do have other um, very glowy, bronzy, summery looks, peachy looks, a whole bunch of looks coming up for summer. Cannot wait to get into it. If you want to see more videos that I will be uploading, just don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell as well as don't forget to comment below. I would love to hear from you guys as always. And if you like this video, please, please, please give me a thumbs up. It does just show me, um, you know, that I'm putting out the right content. All right, guys, that is everything. Until next time, bye.